In this video, we are going to study another variant of single side band that will allow us to use the envelope detector, as we will see. It's called single side band plus carrier when we write it as SSB plus C. So the regular single side band that we studied in the previous videos, it was without the carrier. It was suppressed carrier, but we didn't call it suppressed carrier. We called it single side band only. When we add a carrier, we are going to call it single side band plus carrier. So now we are going to talk about single side band plus carrier. In this case, our single side band signal We will add a component for the carrier, so we are going to add A cosine omega CT plus the regular single side band which is M of T cosine omega CT plus or minus M Hilbert of T sine omega CT. So it's the same single side band signal but we added here a component for the carrier with amplitude A. How would that be useful? Let's see. Let's look at the envelope of the signal. This signal is basically this signal SSP plus C of T is basically A plus M of T multiplied by cosine plus M Hilbert of T plus or minus, of course, huh? uh, sine omega C T. Right? We remember that if we have something multiplied by cosine and something multiplied by sine, uh, we can get or we can write it as uh, we can combine these two terms in terms of uh, cosine plus an angle, cosine omega ct plus some theta, and there is an amplitude here. We will call it e, where e is like or similar to what we did in the Fourier series when we combine the trigonometric Fourier series into the compact trigonometric Fourier series. You can combine sine and cosine into a cosine with a phase and the envelope will be what? The envelope the envelope will be square root of this square plus this square a plus m of t square plus m Hilbert of t square so this is the envelope this is the envelope let's take a plus m of t squared as a common factor so we can get square root a plus m of t squared multiplied by 1 plus m of t over a plus m of t all squared. Right? So if we take a plus m of t squared as a common factor, remaining will be 1 plus m Hilbert squared over a plus m of t squared. Now this a plus m of t all squared can go out of the square root and the envelope will be a plus m of t multiplied by square root 1 plus m of m Hilbert of t over a plus m of t all squared right now now if we choose a to be much greater than magnitude of m of t and by the way magnitude m is the same as magnitude m Hilbert because in Hilbert transform we don't change the magnitude we change the phase so magnitude m will be the same approximately like magnitude m Hilbert right so if a is much greater than m of t a will be also much greater than m Hilbert of t the magnitude of m Hilbert of t then in this case, in this case, we can ignore this term. So this term, if we choose A much greater than M and much greater than M Hilbert, then this term can be approximated to be zero. If we choose it very large, very large, okay? So here, in this case, in this case, E, the envelope of our signal, will be A plus M of T. And if we use an envelope detector, If we use an envelope detector, this is what we are going to detect. A plus M of T, and then we can use a DC blocker to remove A and receive M of T. So here the idea of single side band plus carrier is to be able to use the envelope detector. And how is that? You have to add a component for the carrier. 
But what is the difference now between this and the AM? In the AM, A, it was enough to add A to be greater than or equal to MP, right? Or minus M minimum. In case of symmetric and symmetric signals, it was MP to the amplitude of M, anyways, to the amplitude of M. But here, in AM, in AM it was greater than or equal. Here it has to be much, much larger than the magnitude of M P, or the magnitude of M and the magnitude of M helper. It has to be much greater than the magnitude of M and the magnitude of M helper in order to ignore this term and the envelope to be A plus M of T. So this is the only difference between single side band plus carrier and AM. In AM it was enough to be equal. Okay, but here it has to be much, much greater than the amplitude of the signal and the amplitude of the Hilbert transform of the signal, which is approximately the same thing, okay, uh, in order to be able to say that the envelope now of our signal, the envelope E of our signal is A plus M of T. So we can say now that approximately the envelope will be A plus M of T, and if we use an envelope detector, we'll be able to detect this. So this is with respect to the single side band plus carrier. See you in the next video.